Aquarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your eight card draw. What do I need? Shadow read for this full to new August 2022. I am your reader. Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. They're my initials. <laughs> Professional witch. Professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998. 24 years in service at the time of this recording. Author of Words of Grace from a professional witch available on Kindle. There's a link in the description box. You can preview it for free. And I am a creator on Patreon. Best career move I ever made. Patreon.com slash drawing the circle. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description box. Uh, I've got subscriber levels, humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, gods, goddesses, adding mystic any day now, loading my uh, levels uh, with lots of benefits, streaming there uh, every day for all of my subscribers, pretty much every day in the morning, talking about the daily astrological weather, spiritual practices, and magical applications. It's really wonderful. I love it over there. Uh, lovely community, and I'm keeping it affordable depending on what you're looking for. So... If you want to uh, go deeper, more magic, more miracles, more mysticism, more Mal, come play on Patreon, because I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, but you can call me Mal. Let's get down to it, shall we? If you are new to my channel, an eight-card draw just means one card from eight different decks getting clues, tips, and hints about a specific astrological timeline, therefore a timed read, not a timeless read, although there is a playlist for uh, the, well, seven card draws. We added a new card for the series. Uh, you can find those uh, as well as you can find the Waxing Moon Reads, uh, the five card draws, which are my absolute favorites to do uh, to get you a little bit more clarity, guidance, and grace. And you can certainly look back at problematic or troubling times and maybe get a little clarity there. That being said, let's look at this astrological timeline. We are looking at the full moon in Aquarius, Thursday, uh, August 11th, 9.36 p.m. Just going to say, Aquarius moon on a Thursday is a double whammy of the element of air. Thursday is the day of Jupiter, planet. Jupiter is air, Jove, expansion, joy, uh, and a really, really fun uh, day, and a day of expansion, and certainly a day that's been used for money and abundance for a really long time as a result of that, and you pair that with an Aquarius full moon. This could very much be uh, about social justice as well, unity, all sorts of 11th house, how you interact with the world. It could just be a very powerful full moon. So when the moon rides at her peak, then your heart's desire seek. And there's a five card draw I did two weeks ago. <laughs> Getting ready for that. Uh, but once we hit that, we are going through the waning moon, the letting go, the releasing, the surrendering, the forgiving. I like to call it the alchemy using a uh, the language of spiritual alchemy from lead to gold, shadow to light, pain to peace, because lead has three more atoms than gold on the periodic table. So you wane, you release, you transform, you forgive, you let go. Those uh, three atoms to shift yourself uh, in the situation we're about to look at here uh, from uh, shadow to light, pain to peace, uh, toxic to healthy, jumping timelines to a more golden timeline rather than a more leaded timeline, and you take the planet with you. Infinite number of timelines, apparently. This is how you navigate. This is how you create reality. You can stare at a vision board all you want. Uh, but it's actually the shadow work, the the cleaning, the, the weeding of the garden so that you can plant an, uh, a seed at new moon and the new moon in uh, Virgo on a Saturday. So get, we've got an air day Thursday with an air moon Aquarius full. And then we have an earth day Saturday with an immutable earth a Virgo new moon on Saturday. Uh, August 27th, 4.17 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm in New York, uh, which means we wake up in that. So really, you can take these two weeks to really do what's indicated here, uh, make some room, go from the lead of insulation, that energy can't move through, to gold, which is a very high, powerful conductor, both literally and symbolically, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, so it is a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Standard YouTube reading rules apply. And check your other signs to get more information about the situation that you need to do the shadow work on this one. Because uh, your sun, moon, rising, Venus could have a very different take on it. Uh, but still be the same timeline as well as you could have four different situations. But as you heal one, they all shift because you are the common denominator. That being said, both feet on the floor. If you can, focus on your breath if you will. And I promise you. 
I will do the best that I can to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace to help you heal, because as you do this, like I said, you just don't heal you, which is wonderful, which is enough, uh, uh, but that you heal the entire world into a more golden timeline. And believe me, there are versions of us in more leaded timelines. That's a whole other conversation, maybe on Patreon. We'll talk about that. Talk about past lives. How about quantum versions of you? Ugh, a lot of me's died in the 90s, let's put it that way. So, uh, both feet on the floor, if you can, focus on your breath, if you will. I'm ready. Are you? Breathe. Ah, oh, that shift from explanation to divination. Still point. Using the Caroline Mace archetype deck, I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine, the angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters of the general assembly, the higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, the spirit animals and totems, uh, the, the god Ganesh, Lord Ganesha, as well as the pantheon of all pantheons, all traditions, lineages, and cultures for the... Sagittarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the dominant eighth chakra archetype determining the electromagnetic fields in all of the chakras underneath it, hovering over their head, affecting everything else underneath it, what they attract, what they repel, according to the soul lessons, right? The, the alchemy, the soul power being develop, developed developed from shadow to light, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, lead to gold, shifting timelines, uh, this uh, full to new August 2022. And we've got the teacher archetype. Yay, I have the teacher archetype in Sagittarius, the fucking rocks. Carolyn Mace, M-Y-S-S, she's a PhD, read the book Sacred Contracts, if you want to know what that's all about. But yeah, uh, we all have 12 dominant archetypes and then 12 secondary and then 12 you know, third tier there. So 36 archetypes all together in your sacred contract wheel that is uh, done in the 12 houses of the zodiac. So I love, look, I just taught you something. <laughs> you can't help it. And I find great joy, very Sagittarian joy in being a, t a spiritual teacher. Uh, the shadow attribute here, it's a wisdom family archetype. There are nine different families, categories, so this is wisdom. Uh, the shadow attribute written on the card is what you don't want to look at, address, or deal with, or if you are, you certainly don't want anybody else to know about it. Uh, the light is what you are shooting for. It is the gold, and this is what you want to see more of in the world. Uh, that has to be done through you, because it's coming to you. You can have an archetype of reason, a season, or a lifetime, by the way. I just happen to have a teacher in a lifetime. And my mom was a teacher, literally born into a household that teaches. Uh, the shadow attribute, manipulating or abusing students. <laughs> you can't, how can you have your pudding if you don't eat your meat? Uh, teaching negative traits and destructive skills, right? You get that, we know what bad teachers are. <laughs> But are you hot for teacher? Uh, that what you're shooting for here in the light, ability to communicate. All right, so there's a communication, a third chakra thing here. Uh, uh, ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. It's lovely. I can name every teacher I ever had. Those I was in classrooms with, as well as those teachers that mean a lot to me now, like Carolyn Mace and Matt Kahn, and on and on and on and on and on. Uh, the spiritual teachers that have been uh, essential. Uh, but to me, being a spiritual teacher, even if you don't stand in front of a blackboard or you know teach classes or anything like that, is to teach by example. I think, uh, to me, being a spiritual teacher starts with, you know, it's a learning curve for all of us, uh, but to teach by example. And a big part of what I do is share what works for me, expecting, knowing that not every, it's not going to be for everybody, right? Numbers, 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 yeah. So uh, let's use the Daughters of the Moon Tarot to check the next four chakras down. The crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the spiritual, mental, will, and emotional powers in alignment. Your internal world, your feminine energy. So we're using Daughters of the Moon Tarot, a feminist deck, because uh, this is where the shadow work commences. At minimum, third chakra, the choice to do or research or even look into what shadow work is. And there's a wonderful video in the description box. Now, if I may, uh, it is a movie called The Shadow Effect featuring Debbie Ford, who is unfortunately no longer incarnate. And her work has just been invaluable. See, another teacher. It's sort of like The Secret, but for shadow work. Um, if it's still available on YouTube, go check it out. 
Uh, so let's see what hits the table. Your internal world, your feminine energy. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call upon my goddesses of fire, the sign of Sagittarius, powers of the south, please, beloved goddesses of light and heat, passion, desire, healing, and transformation, among other things, one card in clarity for this uh, mutable fire, Sagittarian collective, sun, moon, rising, uh, Venus sign of cross watchers watching this video and receiving this reading what's going on heart third third eye crown that they need to be aware of this is what do i need read need to be aware of they need to be aware of uh to alchemize that teacher archetype from lead to gold shadow to light pain to peace this uh full to new august 2022 excellent the ace of flames third chakra the ace, the beginning, the one of flames in this deck it's called. Uh, creation is the key word. So that is very throat chakra, willpower, right? What will you do? What won't you do? What will you speak? And like I said, it's a throat chakra thing, the ability to communicate. Yes, you can communicate through demonstration without saying a word, uh, certainly. But throat chakra is about choices and decisions. Um, so this might be something that's like kind of new that you're chewing on. The three speeds for me of the throat chakra, spit it out, swallow it, or chew on it, right? And sometimes you need to chew on it, particularly if this is something that you want to develop and cast for at the new moon. But I'm going to do the five card draws for that, so you might want to save this one and have a look at it. Uh, for the next uh, wa uh, Waxing Moon series. So I like that. This could be someone that's very inspired as a teacher, but chewing on it. Chewing on it, or, or we'll see what happens on the outside, because that's the next three cards. That's the internal. This is the external. That's the yin. This is the yang. The mythic tarot will be the masculine energy. Uh, you from the outside looking in at yourself, maybe you from the inside looking out at a person, place, or thing, because the lower three chakras... Uh, are what we're looking at here about relationships in the physical world. Root chakra, groups, tribes, circles of friends, your favorite band, anything that you are connected to consciously or unconsciously. You start writing to, here's, a, here's an assignment, here's some homework. Take a week and a journal or put it on your phone on like a note or something and identify all the different tribes you're in from the human tribe down to your genetic family. I'm a New Yorker. That's a tribe. It's very revelatory. Second chakra, one-on-one -on -one relationship to another person or thing, money, sex, power, that whole dynamic, creativity as well, but in the lower three chakras. And the solar plexus, your relationship to yourself in the world, your self-esteem, your boundaries, your survival intuition, your honor code, what you will, what you won't, what you do, what you don't, your integrity and all that jazz, right? Who do you want to be in the world? So let's see what hits the table. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm, still point. <laughs> The meditation and breath work I did before this reading was pretty on point. <laughs> As I call upon my gods of fire, who I called upon to do this reading, my gods of fire. Uh, the sign of Sagittarius powers of the South, beloved, bright, brilliant, inspiring uh, uh, gods of fire. Please, one card in clarity for the Sagittarius Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs watching this video and receiving this uh, reading and cross watchers if I forgot to mention it please one card in clarity lower three chakra dynamic inside out outside in lower three chakra masculine yang dynamic what is it they need to be aware of with uh, this teacher uh, alchemy going on in them with that ace of flames creation the ace of wands uh, on the inner what's on the outer this uh, Ooh, this uh, full to new August 2022, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn card. I like that. Now, I, I will say, <laughs> Sagittarius, that a teacher with a Capricorn vibe. Now, this could be somebody else. This absolutely could be another teacher or another person. But Capricorn, 10th uh, house, man. It's the sign right after you, obviously. Uh, in the zodiac, it's about highest potential, not just higher potential, highest potential, the top of the mountain, right? The mountain goat, which is very slow and steady wins the race. But this is cardinal 
Earth, creative Earth. All the kings in the, the tarot are the cardinal. It's just how I learned it. And I learned it from this deck, the mythic tarot, Juliet Sharman Birch, and Genius. And uh, Greek myth is like my second language. Uh, so, you know, here we kind of have this Midas figure. I mean, you know, he's got a lot of gold there. But it is a slow and steady wins the race. There may be boundaries put in place, but usually when it's lower three chakras, regardless of the court card, if it's a court card, this is a person. And this could be you. Does that mean you have to have Capricorn planetary placements? No, not at all. But it is that slow and steady uh, wins the race, a gathering of wealth, of wisdom, of something physical, tangible in this world. And yes, it could be, a, 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 I love Capricorns. I really love, I'm a Virgo sun sign. I love Capricorns because they are stable, they are sturdy, and they are serious, and they get younger as they get older. So, um, you know, this could be a curriculum, this could be a boss, this could be a principal if you are a teacher, This could, but it really does feel actually more like a person than an administration uh, in, in that case. There are other cards that could have said that. So uh, to be aware that this is a process, if this is you from the outside looking in, a Capricorn process of, you know, not even mountain goats run up a sheer cliff, right? It's like one careful foot at a time. I am also going to say, because uh, Saturn, the, the ringed planet, uh, is also about boundaries. So this could be about really thick, looking at addressing uh, your boundaries, solar plexus, what you will, what, what you put up with, what you won't. Look, I know a lot of teachers who are really going through it right now after a, a post-pandemic and Lord knows what's happening next. Monkey pox, whatever. Welcome to, <laughs> welcome to Armageddon, folks. Uh, it's a pack of lips, I'll tell you that. Uh, and, and again, shifting, ju uh, jumping to more golden timelines is certainly uh, more appealing. So, you know, I know a lot of you are really like, I want to do something new. <laughs> I'm a teacher, but I want to do something new. And this actually bodes well for a creative project, but something to create in physical form. But that may take some time and boundaries and clarity. So with the chakras on the table, we are going to get you a Matt Con healing mantra uh, to help you a little bit every day. It's up to you how much you want to do this. See, the thing with shadow work is it can be delayed or not prevent, uh, delayed, but not prevented. So my guides just said to me last week, I had a rough couple of, I'm getting ready to move my house from Long Island to Saratoga to be closer to family. It's like Zillow links every day and the pictures do not match what my family goes and sees when they go to an open house or, you know, to go see a listing. So, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> do I, they said to me, do you want to deal with this feeling now or later? It's okay if you don't want to do it now. They're, they, the guides, the gods, the angels, all of them, they love us. They understand this game is a little rough, a lot of rough, uh, but they said it can be delayed, but, uh, not prevented. Do you want to do this tonight, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, next life, 10 lives from now? It's up to you and we love you, right? So a little healing mantra can go a long way. And this ring does not want to stay on that finger. Please take a nice deep breath. Jewelry. You understand. Breathe. Trying to keep it light. With Capricorn on the table. <laughs> Still point. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, so I got it. I call upon the Ascended Masters of Wisdom, right? Why not? That's, um, almost all of you are, I would think, in one way, shape, or form. One card in clarity for the Sagittarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I have watch and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the perfect healing mantra to help them alchemize the teacher archetype with that? There is a willingness there with that ace of, uh, that one of flames, that ace of wands on the inner very throat chakra, particularly ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, and wisdom. But with that king of pentacles, maybe that has a real solid, strong element of earth, serious, structured, stable. If I haven't said a Capricorn vibe, if this is looking at them from the outside in, uh, or maybe they are dealing with somebody like that from the, uh, looking from the inside out. So it's the perfect healing mantra. Knock their socks off. <laughs> nope, not yet. <laughs> not yet. 
<laughs> the perfect healing mantra for the Capricorn Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, and Cross Watchers. If the Cross Watchers apply this, they will heal. They will help the Capricorn Collective heal and help the planet shift as well. This full to new. August 2022, deconstructing doubt. Only my beliefs are in the way. Only my beliefs are in the way. De disconstructing, a uh, deconstructing doubt. Look, I can deconstruct a movie <laughs> of our archetypal vision. Of course I can, right? To deconstruct a jello pudding. I don't know. Uh, I can't believe I said jello pudding. You know what I mean? I can deconstruct a novel. You deconstruct anything. But to deconstruct doubt, particularly as a teacher, that's necessary. It's really important to look at what we doubt because oftentimes it is an emotional, intuitive response. Uh, uh, but certainly if it's about a heart's desire choice, that can be obviously uh, troubling. So I'm going to read it from the bookie book. This is one of four bookie book reads. Uh, only my beliefs are in the way. Uh, D, dispelling, discovering, deconstructing doubt. Only my beliefs are in the way. As you deconstruct doubt, you are no longer uh, lost in the concerns and curiosities of what if. Well, can we talk about that being a mental pandemic? Well, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this one does this and that one does that? It's a lot, right? So moving from uh, uh, the concerns and curiosities of what if, but are more rooted in the truth of what is truth, right? Uh, when doubt is deconstructed, hardship is no longer a sign of misfortune. Uh-uh. It's an opportunity to step outside your comfort zone and meet the higher aspects of the soul that exists just beyond the boundary of the self. And I'm going to say that's highest potential and boundaries, both here in this card. We touched upon it. Uh, this mantra is ideal for aligning with truth, because we don't always know what that is, but we can be aligning with it by just, you know, the only my beliefs are in the way, uh, being more self-actualized, which might very well be what's going on here, and if you have doubts, hard to actualize if only your beliefs are in the way, and beliefs are traded in and traded up all the time. There's always a higher truth, but belief comes and goes, right? Uh, uh, and uh, transforming inferiority, which I'm not excited to play that game. Uh, but if it's if it's a not good enough feeling, I'm like, well, what if I'm not ready for that? That's a subtle form of inferiority. Like if you want to jump careers or start teaching, you know, in a different way. And remember, you don't have to literally have the job title of teacher to be a teacher, <laughs> right? <laughs> Right, right, instructor. I would be a teacher no matter where you drop me down. You put me in fast food. Within a month or two, I would be an instructor or a trainer or something like that. Because it's, it's just what I do. Raised by a teacher. So deconstructing doubt is going to help this teacher wisdom archetype. I'm going to help you alchemize that uh, from uh, lead to gold. I'm loving this for you. All right. Speaking of love, the Whispers of Love Oracle will be the voices of the higher selves of all involved. Now, this may be just for you, unless, of course, that King of Pentacles, that Capricorn vibe is somebody that you are dealing with, but as well as a teacher usually has students in some way, shape, or form, so their higher selves are involved too. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. Still point. There we are. I call upon the higher selves of all involved. Fifth dimension and above. Eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love for the Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video? receiving this reading, the whisper of love, the piece of information, inspiration, insight most needed by the higher selves of all involved to help do this alchemy of the teacher. Ace of Flames on the inner, King of Pentacles on the outer, deconstructing doubts only. Their thoughts are in the way. The whisper of love to help clear that this full to new. Receive with love and appreciation. Okay. Now, that says to me automatically that while you're chewing on this, to be open and receptive. It's fine to have boundaries, but you are allowed to open a gate and close a gate and sometimes draw the drawbridge and lock it and put dragons in the moat. Or piranha, you know, as you, as you feel, you know, you're, just, you're 
Sagittarians, you know, fire, moat, whatever. Uh, so, uh, you know, to let that in, receive with love and appreciation. Uh, receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Now, here's the thing. Maybe this King of Pentacles is a person, can also be both, by the way. It's called mirroring. We're all one anyway at the core. Uh, but that Capricorn energy could be about you really looking at your boundaries and saying, no, I am... I am willing to receive. It's Louise Hay, I think. Uh, you can heal your life one on I am willing to receive. I am willing to receive my good. I am willing to receive and take this wisdom. And whatever this inspiration, this creation is, this choice or decision, right now it's still a choice in, in the energy field, um, to clear some of that doubt, right? To ask for help. Or if somebody offers something, receive it with love and appreciation. All you have to say is thank you. People give me stuff all the time. I have so much stuff back there. There's gifts that people have given me over the decades, right? And uh, I got a lot of Wonder Woman stuff as a result of that. And in my new home, I think I'm going to have to have a Wonder Woman room, don't you? All right, let's move on. If you're going to do the hero's journey of shadow work, because it's a, every hero's journey has shadow work, it's good to know who your divine animals are walking with you. Your, uh, your spirit guides and totem animals. Again, technically not exactly the same thing. This ring is beginning to annoy me. So we'll put that. <gasps> okay. Uh, uh, spirit animals and totems are not exactly the same thing, uh, but that's another conversation. Uh, but we all have them. Uh, so let's see uh, what uh, Stacy DeMarco's Divine Animal Oracle has to say. And honestly, it's one of my new favorite decks. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. As I call to the spirit animals in total for the Sagittarius, this feels softer, the Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, Venus, uh, Signs. Did I say cross watches? This feels very different watching this video receiving this reading, who walks with them, who flies with them, who swims with them, who crawls with them, giving them the support, the love, the wisdom, power, the guidance, the grace, the protection, and the oracle message to help them alchemize this teacher, one of flames on the inner, king of pentacles on the outer, deconstructing doubt and receiving with love and appreciation this full to new August 2022, the chameleon change. <laughs> Capricorn ruled by Saturn, karma, chameleon. <laughs> Is there desert loving in your in your eyes far away? Yeah, change, 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 change. Oh, form of man, <laughs> be this prince forever damned. <laughs> Etrigan, anybody? No, figured not. Uh, <laughs> let's see, card number 33, the chameleon. I'm just reading the first part and the almost last part, uh, uh, the verbal description and, uh, the chameleon magic, should you choose to implement it, uh, doing the shadow work. Breathe. <sighs> chameleon, card number 33, key word, change. Change is a natural part of life, so resistance is futile. Ride the energies of change and know where you are going. Then fear will lessen. Deconstructing doubt, ace of flames in the throat, wanting something to make a change. Got it. Uh, uh, it is not always wise to just blend in with everybody else. Flexibility in mind and body is advantageous. Uh, do not take too long to make your decision. Well, shade. Look, this could be a change of career. This could be, I guess it could be about anything. It could be a change in a relationship because you chew it on something new. If you've already thought about it, you're chewing on it, or you will be, uh, this is a two-week period. Uh, let me read you the magic. Oh, I jumped a page. I didn't mean to. I skipped one. Uh, there we go. Chameleon magic is one of flexibility and coping with change. Call upon the magic of this creature uh, when you wish to have successful change in challenging circumstances. And I feel like this is, but the big part of the challenge, 
maybe not all of it, the big part of it is uh, the beliefs that are in the way as you deconstruct doubt. Uh, and when you wish to know everything you can about a situation prior to moving forward, there you go, I'll call him the chameleon. Give me everything I need to know. Maybe everything I want to know, but everything I need to know. And then receive that. And that can come now, not just through people horizontally, but obviously, spiritually, psychically, intuitively. Uh, and all of that. I like that. I like that a lot. Here's the new deck, though, and this is lovely. Uh, the Whispers of Lord Ganesha, Angela Hartfield, who also does the Whispers of Love that we just did receive with love and appreciation. These are great. It's a booky book read. I don't really know them yet, nor would I want to just one word, keyword these, because it's beautifully written, and Ganesh, it's, uh, the elephant-headed god of the Hindus, uh, wealth, abundance, joy, just wonderful, but mostly known as the remover of obstacles. So think of those three uh, atoms of lead, right? Obstacles. And, uh... Now then we just got one more card left, the Blessed Be, which is looking at the gold, the hidden blessing within all of this. Uh, please take a nice deep breath. Still point. And it smells melting me every time. Beloved Lord Ganesh, Ganesha, please. One card in clarity for the Sagittarian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading. What is your blessing, your guidance, your grace, your love, your wisdom, your power uh, to help remove the obstacles for the Sagittarian Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and receiving this uh, reading so they can alchemize the teacher with that ace of flames on the inner king of pentacles on the outer deconstructing doubt in the third eye obviously receiving with love and appreciation uh, while navigating change and working with that chameleon energy to make their way uh, through this to do this wisely and well this full to new August 2022 decision <laughs> no, it's funny. Uh, the five card and the seven card draws don't get anywhere near as high numbers as anything romance related. I know I understand the marketplace. I'm not stupid. I'm a Virgo. But these are so accurate. I think they're way more helpful for the day to day, or at least for two weeks. Uh, decisions, decisions. Look at them. Cute. I love elephants. I do. I'm a lion. My last name is Lions. Those are big. You know, they're. They're snuggly, they're cuddly, they're deadly. <laughs> Elephants. Oh, they're just a pack of derms. What can I tell you? I love them. And I love Ganesha. Just beautiful, beautiful. <coughs> Divine being. Card number 31. Yep, decision. And fancy numbers. Looking like fives when you're something else. Okay, uh, I'm going to read this for you from the book. I think you'll like it because... There's a change. There's a decision. You're chewing on the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. Uh, you're, you're chewing on the One of Flames. Brave. <sighs> Card number 31, keyword decision. Consider all of your options to make an informed choice. You kidding? You think? What exactly do you want in this situation? Are you satisfied with the way things are moving in your life? Ganesha is guiding you to know that your desires are within your sights. That's good. Um, odds are in your favor. The decision that is before you is either sticking with what you know or breaking out and trying something <laughs> new. You don't know how many teachers I know as clients, as friends, and even family members who are doing exactly this. Um, literal teachers, I mean, but don't necessarily have to be for this to apply. Uh, this is a time for veering out into a new adventure or making a decision that deviates from your typical trend or habit. In other words, standard Sagittarius behavior. Ganesha will gift you with a greater understanding of who you are and what you are capable of creating with the creation card. And I keep going back to that. That's a very dominant card uh, in this spread, obviously. You have worked hard and really evolved through your life lessons. Get ready for a change. 
literally on the table, chameleon change. Motivate yourself by taking time to rejuvenate. That's a good idea. Well, maybe this is part of that King of Pentacles. Uh, treat yourself to simple things that bring you joy. Discover new activities that take you away from routine. As you move through your day-to-day -day schedule in new ways, you create new thoughts. When Ganesha is holding the mace called Gada, G-A-D-A, -A, uh, he is challenging you to be more decisive. Once you start being more strong-minded, because only your beliefs are in the way, you that doesn't say that, I'm adding that, uh, you will create the opportunity to reflect on your long-term goals and desires. You'll then be in a better position to plan ahead and ensure you achieve those goals. You benefit now from a newfound sense of confidence and are ready for a major change. You know, this is very much that King of Pentacles taking it slow, but being like, no, I've got this. We'll get there. Maybe you can get there, is what I'm saying. Uh, you might consider uh, travel to exotic places, further education, or a major career change. I think that's what we're looking at probably for the dominant uh, percentage of people watching this uh, at this point. Um, this will expand your learning and development and grow your horizons beyond your immediate environment. With careful planning and a moderated approach, you will set yourself up for success now and moving towards the future. No, really, with the, that is very King of Pentacles, Capricorn energy mixed with Sagittarius. It really is. It's a very clear read. I love what I do. <laughs> I do. I mean, if you had stuck me in an office, I used to work in an office a long time ago. Now the world is my office. Uh, our last card down, the, uh, the mystical Celtic blessing cards to enrich and empower called Blessed Be, but I have dedicated this deck to uh, the pantheons of all pantheons, traditions, lineages, and cultures. It's poetry what's in here. Uh, again, Blue Angel Publishing, man. They do a lot of the, the divination systems I work with. I love them. Um, but this is, as we said in the teacher, there's lead in the gold. This is the gold hidden in the lead, the hidden blessing that you will see if you just do your best, right? You don't have to... It's, in other words, it'll be perfect for you. It doesn't have to be perfect according to what the mind may think would be perfect. Just do your best to do the shadow work over this two-week period. And this is the gold hidden blessing. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. Still point. As I call to the pantheons of all pantheons, all traditions, lineages, and cultures, please, one card in clarity for the Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and receiving this reading. What is the hidden blessing, the gold within the lead waiting to be revealed? It's there. It can be delayed, but it cannot be prevented. So should they just do their best, right? To, to do not just what's indicated in this reading, but overall, they just do their best to feel what they gotta feel and heal what they gotta feel and do what they gotta do. As much wisdom as they can, understanding that they're demonstrating as a teacher as they go that they can do this alchemy to really highlight their ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom with this Ace of Flames, right? This uh, One of Flames, this Ace of Wands in the third chakra with the King of Pentacles. It feels structured, it feels solid, it feels secure, but it's also creative. Cardinal Earth, creative Earth, the mountain, a lot lives in and on and through the mountain. They just need to deconstruct out. Only their beliefs are in the way so that they can receive with love and appreciation. And maybe that's opportunities, right? Uh, opportunities to make this, what? This chameleon change. They can do this in a very loving way, but it is their decision. And it is time to decide, obviously. So help them. Some inspiration. What's the light at the end of the tunnel? The hidden blessing for the Sagittarius. Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Cross Watchers. This full to new. You're not going to believe this. August 2022, a blessing on your creativity. My skill is that I know what I'm talking about. The divine puts the cards into my hands and I have cool hair. Oh, and I'm funny. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm salty. All right, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to read you what's in the bookie book, but it is a blessing. So I do the blessings for real because they are gorgeous. Certainly can't commit them to memory. They're too long. Um, but at the end of it, it says, blessed be. I say, blessed be. I do my own little blessing thingy at the end, right? Uh, for the well-being of all, blah, blah. And then uh, uh, we're going to chat for a little bit if you want to hang around because i got to release the Sagittarius Collective. And I usually do that through being goofy. All the signs, though, not just you. So shall we? Oh, by the way, check her out. She's playing some music to some cranes. Her creativity, her craneativity. Uh, card number, was that 19? It certainly it was. We've got Torch of Archangel Ariel. My blessing cord's already on. Uh, let's get to card number 19. A blessing on your creativity. Last time. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm. Still point. Pantheons of the Divine convey and confer this blessing. A blessing on your creativity. A blessing to stoke the fires of your creative soul, fire sign, uh, to bring to birth the dreams that lie and wait within you. A blessing to charge up your gifts so that they can be seen and shine within the world. Creativity is a blessing given to us all. Yours is as natural to you as your breathing. It is said that some are more creative than others, but for you this gift is lying in wait now. And it is for you to bring to it your dedication and attention so it can arise from its sleep and awaken into the world. You have creative gifts. The gift of thinking in a new way, deconstructing doubt, seeing things differently, deconstructing doubt, telling a story through clay or wood or gem or words or paint or teaching, uh, and in the telling of the story, holding a mirror up to our existence, saying, see, this is the truth of who we are. Creativity is the act of making something and letting it have life. To be a creator is to connect strongly with the divine, for you bring forth into the world what was unseen until you imagined it. It is both the harnessing of your imagination and your dedication. This is very Capricorn, the dedication part it's talking about. And with those two seeds, in imagination and dedication, with those two seeds, you pull the dream from the unreal world into the natural world, and you delight us with the blessings that is your gift. So, if you are reading this, or hearing this, uh, and you have faltered on your creative journey, know that this blessing will help you set aside the chorus of doubt that sings within us all, deconstructing doubt. Um, to quiet, uh, to quieten the naysaying voice that dims your gift. And in the silence of inspiration, you shall again begin to flow. So, capture the fleeting gift when it comes and know that when you do this, the world is made more beautiful. Be creative. Live creatively. Shake off inertia and habit and make of your whole life an art. No age, no job, no relationship defines you. But it is the way in which you choose to live as art that you will show us who you truly are. So, wild soul, it's like they know you, Sagittarians, uh, a blessing on your creativity. May you show us your gifts. For the well-being of all. And with harm to none. As we will it. So let it be done. So let it be. And so it is. A teacher getting ready to create structure, diligence, patience, doing it, deconstructing doubt as they go, receiving with love, allowing the opportunities to come in because there is a change that they need to make a decision on. 
but they're going to find their way through this creatively because their creativity has been blessed. If that made sense to you, because it certainly made sense to me, please hit the thumbs up. Help the other Sagittarian and Sagittarian cross watchers find it so that we can shift this along, particularly for teachers in general, right? And if you want more of me here on YouTube, just subscribe. I'm not stopping anytime soon. I'm really enjoying, enjoying this. I'm no longer monetized, so the numbers aren't as important as they used to be. Why? Because I'm a creator of Patreon. There was my artistic buster move, big time. Best career move I ever made. I love YouTube. But I love Patreon more. So if you want the early content, if you want the exclusive content, you want to see me every morning with a cup of coffee, my hair doing what you're doing, and meet a lot of cool people too, because we've got people all around the planet joining up on my patreon.com slash drawing the circle uh, page platform whatever really digging it over there so uh, if you want to uh, more magic more miracles more mysticism more Malcolm Patreon on Patreon I'm the Archangel of Lions for God's sake Mark Angel Alliance and just call me Mal hey I love you want a private reading there's a link in the description box to a video booking a reading with Mel did it last year we'll probably update it this year with the move who knows explains everything for you just like Clarissa otherwise wishing you all the very best and the very very blessed of the shadow work have at it this full to new uh, August 2022 I love you now farewell and blessed blessed be